All right, so I already did the disassembly of this uh, Lenovo Yoga 211 model 20332. So basically what I'm going to be doing now is just replacing the hard drive because as I showed earlier, it uses one of those ultra slim hard drives. Um, the model of the drive is actually called SFF-8784. So you can see I got this adapter to add a MSATA SSD. So what I did was I cloned the hard drive that's currently in there using a program called Macrium Reflect. Um, they have a free version, so I have a video on how to do that if you want to look for it. Um, and then what I did was I used this MSATA to SATA adapter to connect it with a USB connector. So I'm just going to remove this right now. Okay. All right, and we're going to be putting this MSATA disk into the new adapter that we just got. Okay. So I'm going to remove the MSATA drive here. So this already has everything cloned from the computer on it. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave this in here. I have this in here just so I can read um, all different types of hard drives depending what customers bring me. So this supports M.2 SATA and M SATA drives. And then the box itself supports the regular SATA drives. Okay. So anyways, we're going to take these screws out. So if you need the adapter, I can actually post a link for this. Maybe I'll put the link in the description below, make it easier. All right. The SSD, it's a M SATA. You can get any model you want. So I'm not going to put a link to that in the description below, but uh, this adapter I will put. Okay. So it goes in at an angle like this. Okay. Once you do that, you just push it down and then get the screws and screw it in place. Okay. And since this is a SSD, you don't really need to worry about it moving around too much. Um, the adapter or the caddy that normally would hold the drive, it won't be able to hold this. So just don't worry about that because it's an SSD. All right. So now we're going to get the T5 screwdriver and we're going to take all the screws off the bottom again just so we can open it up. All right. If you want a complete teardown video of what's inside this laptop, I do have another video. Um, I'll put that link in the description as well. So hopefully I'll remember. Okay. And then I guess I'll have to add the SSD upgrade link to the other video so it's easier to for people to find it. Okay, we're just going to quickly remove all these screws. Just like that. All right, then we're just gonna pull this cover back off. Okay, just like that. So here's the old hard drive. Again, they're using this type of hard drive. I think we have to use a PH0 or JIS0. There's four screws holding this down. Remove all four screws. All right, so the SSD I got, um, it's a smaller SSD that the customer said they didn't need that much storage space. So um, I didn't migrate over the last few partitions. Anyways, to remove this again, just grab that and then just wiggle this as you pull it. So these little brackets, um, they're not gonna hold anything if I put the new one in there. So we're just going to get this and put that over there. Okay. And the SSD should just connect on it like this. Okay. So you just plug this on just like the original drive. And then this drive will just fit in here. If you want, you can get some tape or something just to hold it down or put some kind of foam because it will kind of like move around in here. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you want, you can actually put something. They have this little foam stuff here 
That should hold it. I'm going to put this cover on and shake it around and see if it rattles around or anything. If it rattles around too much, then I'm going to put something, some extra foam or something in there. So let's see. It rattles a little bit, but most people won't shake around their computer like that. Um, I will add some foam though, just to help it um, push it in place a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to take this cover back off. All right, lift this up here. So we can see there's like these two sides. So I'm going to add some foam to the bottoms there. Okay. A lot of the packaging I get comes with this kind of foam stuff, so I'm just going to cut pieces of that. Okay. That should be more than enough. So we're gonna put this foam right here. All right, there you can see it like holds itself up there. And then we'll put this piece of foam here. And then when we put the cover back on, it should hold this down. The foam will stay compressed over time, so it will help itself like stick down properly. Okay, so if you want, you can put these screws back in place here so that you don't get them all lost, okay. We're just going to put these screws. I'm going to make sure that I have it lined up right. Okay. That one and that one. <clears throat> right. I'm just putting these screws here just in case the customer ever wants to put that bracket back in, but I doubt it. Just like that. Again, just make sure these foam pieces line up right. Because you want it so that when this squeezes down, it's not going to get caught in this plastic area. Okay, <clears throat> take the cover. Put this back on. Snap everything in place. All right. It's already kind of holding itself in place. Now we'll get the T5 screwdriver and we'll just put back these screws. <clears throat> All right, very simple. If the clone worked and we got all the important partitions over, we should be able to just power it on and it should work with the faster SSD, no problem. Okay. Just like that. Right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna power it on. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it'll boot up just fine. I haven't actually tested it with the SSD in there yet. So I'll turn it on. Okay, it's powering up. The Windows thing is spinning, so I think we're good to go. So I'm just gonna make sure it turns on completely. But that's pretty much all there is to it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We're just going to let this finish loading. Okay, come on. Still loading. All right, it went to the black screen. So I think it should be just about there. I see the mouse pointer now. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but yep, there we go. So we're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.